So I was asked the question, what's better, a brown leather jacket or a black leather jacket? Now, being a trained diplomat, I said neither. I'm going to go with green. Seriously though, gents, I understand. You got to make a choice. You don't have a closet of leather jackets. You're going to have one. You got to make a decision. Are you going to go black? Are you going to go brown? And gentlemen, that's the subject of today's video. So first up, let's talk about your options. With brown, there's tons of them. We've got a chocolate brown here. We've got lighter browns. We've got tans. We've got deeper browns. And as you can see, as we go here, I get darker and darker. I'm not naturally to black. You can always tell it's a brown. But what's nice about browns is it also encompasses oranges. We've got maroon right here. This is a shade of brown. So what's really cool about this is if you know and you gravitate towards brown, tons of options here when you look on the market for leather jackets. Now, what about black? So there aren't going to be too many shades of black. There's black and there's black, but there are going to be colors that are in the same family. So right here, we've got a gray and you will see some gray jackets out there. And you know what? I'm going to go ahead and throw this blue in there. Yes, I know blue is not black, but what's cool is if you already have a lot of black in your wardrobe, dark blues are going to work with pretty much anything that that black works with as well. So on the surface, when it comes to brown, it may seem like there's more options, but I would argue that when it comes to black, we're going to find more variations in styles. So it's kind of a give and take. Yeah, you'll find more colors with the browns, but with the classic styles, especially in the moto lines and even, you know, a lot of the winter wear, black is where it's going to be at. And you're going to see that there are more stylistic options when it comes to the type of coats. Now, what about visibility of texture? This is an area where I do think brown has an advantage because of the lighter colors, because of all the variations. We can see, you know, right here, obviously we've got a suede, but this brown right here, very smooth, just really clean. This one right here, this is made from, uh, I believe, pig or is it goat? In any case, we've got a nice, little bit more of a pebbled texture to it. This is a faux leather, so technically not a leather, but it's still going to be brown. As you can see, we've got some distress look with this. This one right here, really heavy, going to have a lot more texture. These are the th kind of things that are much more easy to see in a brown jacket. So when it comes to texture, brown's got black beat. But when it comes to being a badass, I mean, look at all the ones that we've seen in movies, we've seen in television shows. When you think of the wild one, you think of Uncle Jesse over on Full House. I mean, what was he wearing? A black leather jacket. And I think in the back of our minds, we still think of that rebel, that guy that is just killing it, that guy that's, you know, the bad boy that's getting all the girls. What is he wearing? A black leather jacket. And for that reason, I got to give the badass advantage right there to black. And by the way, if you look like a badass when you wear a leather jacket, do me a favor, smash that like button. By smashing that like button, you let the algorithm know that you enjoy these videos and you want to see more like it. Plus, it just warms my heart to see lots of likes on these videos. Now, which of the two colors is going to be more affordable? So that's kind of a trick question because, it, you know, you can find all different types of deals out there looking across the web, but I would have to hand the advantage to black. Again, because it's more common, you're going to find all the different styles out there. You're going to have a lot more options. That being said, there are just some colors of brown that you do want to spend a little bit more money for. And if it's a difference of only like 10, 20, 30 percent, I would go with the jacket that you really like. I always talk about buying what you want, what your heart is telling you that you're going to look awesome in because it's better to cry once over the price than to buy something that you're never really in love with and don't wear often. Now, if you're watching this video and you're wondering, Antonio, where did you get all those great looking suede jackets in the various colors? That maroon, that tan, that dark blue, that green, that gray right there, which, yeah, a lot of people like this gray. Guys, I'm working on a special project and I would love your help. If you're at all interested in getting a suede jacket in a unique color, one that's going to have you standing out from the crowd, down in the description of today's video, I've got an email list you can sign up for. I'm not going to spam you. I just simply, I'm gauging interest because I'm looking to actually produce some of these jackets and sell them. I'm taking the designs I saw over on John Varvatos, Tom Ford, and I want to create an amazing, I said these do like $2,000 jackets, and I want to be able to create something at half that price that's going to have all the same properties, is going to allow you to be able to walk into a room and just turn heads, to be able to draw attention at the same time, something timeless, something elegant, something that's going to be in style 20 years from now. If this at all sounds interesting, down in the description of today's video, sign up for that email list. Again, it's just a early bird. I'll let you know what's going on. I've already sent out a couple of videos, but I would love to have you on that list so I can let you know if we decide to come out with these jackets, because if we get enough interest, we're going to do it. 
Now, what about maintenance? So, brown had the advantage when it comes to texture, but it's a double-edged sword. It has a disadvantage when it comes to taking on stains, when it comes to actually having to send the jacket off to get cleaned. Black jackets, because of the very nature of that dark color or even dark blues, they're much less likely to show stains, to show any type of discoloration or scratches. Browns, on the other hand, especially the lighter colors, these are jackets you have to be careful with and you may have to send off to the cleaners to get rid of a stain. You know, if you take them out to a restaurant and you get some food on them. Yeah, the black leather jacket not really going to show up much, even a black suede versus these lighter colors. Yeah, it could be an issue. So, what color is the winner? Black, brown? I want to hear your opinion down in the comments. Let me know down below. And what video to watch next? How about how to find the perfect leather jacket for your age? In this video, I break it out. I make it simple. Find out what the perfect jacket for you is in this video right here.